Hello friends, in this video, I am going to show you how to design Gia Anthra by using a QA engineering drawing method. So to do that, I am going to use this data and engineering equation. So let's get started. So first I right click on the right plane and choose sketch. And now let's create a cycle. And click on the origin. And create a cycle with the diameter up to 52, which is the cycle diameter. And now let's use the offset command. And offset will be 10.5, which is for the addendum cycle. And select this cycle and confirm it. And let's use the offset do again. And select this cycle. And offset, uh, this time it must be 12.15 and reverse the direction, which is for the addendum cycle. And let's use the offset command one more time. And set the offset to 1.65 and select this cycle and reverse the direction uh, which is for the clear end now is it a sketch okay i think i need to turn this all into a construction line so right click and choose edit okay let's turn up this rear view now select all these cycle and choose for construction now let's use the center line command and create a center line from this origin to PCD. And right click and choose construction line again. And use the circle command. Click on this midpoint and click on this end point. And again, we need to choose a construction. And click on confirm. Now we need to trim the lower part of this circle. So trim this and this. And this one too. Now let's use the cycle command again and click on this end point and let's create a cycle. The radius of this cycle must be one eighth of the cycle diameter, uh, just like we have seen on the equation. And now let's choose the center line option, I mean, sorry, construction. Now let's use the trim command and trim the unnecessary part of this cycle. Now let's use the cycle command again and click on the origin and click on the intersections of these arcs and the center of all two profile must be lie on this cycle. Now let's use the trim command again and I shall trim this uh, segment to see it clearly. Now let's create a circle from this intersection point to the point on the PCD circle. And let's use the circle command again. And click on the intersections of this circle and PCD. And let's create a circle with the diameter of 33 mm, uh, which is the two thickness. Now let's use the point command to mark on the position of this two thickness, uh, which is right here. Okay, now we don't need this circle anymore, so let's delete this. Now let's use the circle command again, and click on this point, and create a circle. The diameter, I mean the radius of this circle must be the one eight of PCD circle. Okay, now select this and this and let's choose the equal relationship. Now let's use the point command again and let's mark on this intersection, uh, which is the center of the another two profile. Now delete this circle, we don't need it anymore. Now let's use the circle command again. And click on this point and this point. Okay. Now let's use a trim command and trim the unnecessary part of the circle.
Now let's use the circular button to array this to profile. And let's slide this to cuff. And the center must be right here. Now let's change the number to uh, which is 24 according to the equations and calculation and click on confirm. Now select this and let's remove this check mark for construction. Now let's use the trim command and let's trim the end three part of this cycle. And now select this clearance cycle and remove this check mark for construction. Now let's use the trim command and trim the industry part again. Now let's use the filler command to fill out all these corners and change the filler radius to 3.3. And now select all these corner. Now let's create a saga at the center for the chef. You can use any dimension you want. Now let's go to the feature and choose a steel ball space. And select this sketch. And now you can use any amount of institution and click on confirm. Okay, let's change the visual style to shade it. Okay, we got the straight spa gear. Well, let me show you another types of gear, which is helica gear. And now let's delete this steel feature. Now right click on the top plane and choose normal 2 and right click again to sketch and let's create a straight line with any dimension you want. Now is it a sketch? Now let's click on sweep ball space. Okay, the cross chain must be this gear to the sketch and the path must be straight line. Now let's change the profile twist to specify twist value and here you can put any degree you want and if you want to you can change the direction too by clicking on the icon which is on the side. Now click on confirm. Now select this face and choose sketch. Okay, now let's click on the convert entity and select this ax and click on confirm. Now choose issue ball space and you can issue any more you want. Let's issue this in the direction 2 again. Let's put the dimension about 400 millimeter and click on confirm. And now right click on the top plane and choose normal and choose sketch. Let's create a triangular sketch at this corner by using the freehand technique. If you want to, you can add dimension too. Okay, now we need to create a center line. Let's click on this origin and create a straight line. Now select this line. And let's go to the feature and choose revolve cut command and revolve to 360 degree. Okay, we got it where we went. Now let's create the realistic thread on this surface. But we need to scale it down this model because this is too big to demonstrate it. So let's use the scale command from right here and select this and scale it down to half of this dimension. Okay, now we can use the thread command. So go to inside menu and choose feature and choose thread. Okay, it is telling that we cannot use this feature for actual production thread. 
Anyway, let's click on OK. Now we need to select the uh, ax on the cylindrical face. Okay. As you can see, the profile of the thread has appeared on this surface, but we need to make this to the inside because we are going to use the cut thread and we need to make it horizontally. Okay, now we need to select the up to slashing con option. So select this face. Okay, as you can see, the preview of our thread has appeared on the surface. Now let's uh, choose the size of this thread. You can choose any type you want. And here you can choose any size you want. It is up to you. Now we are going to use the cut thread for this. You can use a stew thread if you want to. Okay, we will explain this later. Let's confirm it. Okay, as you can see, we got some issue on the start and end of this thread. As you can see. Uh, which is right here so let's fix that so right click on the thread and choose edit feature so to fix this issue we need to choose the offset feature from the start and end conditions so click on this check mark and you can put any amount of distance you want as you can see this is going in the wrong direction so reverse it and put any value you want now let's uh, click on this offset and again you can put any value you want it just doesn't matter because we are going to train with the surface so for that uh, click on this train with start face and train with end face as you can see it is fixed and you can choose left hand thread or right hand thread too from right here and i'll confirm it so that's all guys if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe my channel and see you in the next tutorial